marked here welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into this video I look real crazy like that made it any better I see you see me so I want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam bam y'all welcome back to another pre poo chit chat video I have not washed my hair in two weeks so I am going to do a deep condition on it first I am going to be using the hair mail you guys have seen me use this before on my channel and like I told you guys it's not focusing but we all know what this is it's a treatment for weak damaged hair and you guys i just want to talk to you about my hair and how i feel about my hair since i blow dried it out um really quick so first off if you hear like a whole bunch of noise in the background my son is outside playing so you're probably going to hear him pushing a cart or something around but that's what the noise is and I'm gonna be pre batching this video so for the left side of my head I'm probably gonna be talking about how I feel about my hair after I blow dried it and then the right side of my hair I'm gonna be talking about a completely different topic maybe about why I feel as though the back of my hair don't grow as fast as the front of my hair so if you're interested in that video stay tuned for part two of this conversation but for part one of this conversation i'm gonna split my hair in half just to get this content for y'all in here but how do i feel about my blow dried hair since i've experienced like covid and 45 percent of my hair shed it and this is my first time blow drying my hair i was quite shocked at how much hair i needed to cut off and if you guys haven't watched my video on my uh blow dry video then i'll probably leave that down below for you guys but i need to cut off an inch i literally thought i was gonna have to cut off way more hair than just an inch but shockingly all I had to cut or need to cut is an inch and then I decided to use a split ender instead of like actually physically cutting off the length of my hair from for now even if I do reach um, booty crack length hair or tailbone length hair on my uh, on the hair that I know I need to have cut off I mean I still retched booty crack length hair oh my gosh that's still spraying like i still reach i still retched it even though retched it is that even a word but i still retched it even if i have to cut off a certain amount of hair it's like i still made it there but what i want to do is be able to grow my hair past the oh my goodness that's like that's spraying like for real for real but i'm trying to grow my hair past that area or that length so then when i do cut it my hair is still at tailbone length but how do i feel about my blow dried hair most definitely um i know that my hair is so much thinner on the ends i have about like maybe a good four inches of new growth since i pretty much experienced the hair fall from november 3rd and today is march 25th i believe i know it's march like late march i think it is the 25th though but 2022 so i experienced the hair fall in november 2021 my battery is low like are you serious and i noticed that my hair is growing back but it doesn't feel like all of it has thickened up and i said that i was gonna wait for like eight or nine months just to make a full like determination of like hey is my hair gonna fully recover and i'm still gonna wait that long but from what i'm seeing now my hair from my scalp is getting thicker but the hair that is hanging down here is a lot thinner but 
COVID didn't take out it took out the bulk of my hair but I'm surprised like I don't have bad damaged ends or see-through ends and one of the main reasons of why I wanted to actually blow dry my hair was to see the damage I had seen I think her name is Sheree I think her name is Sheree I, I think her name is Sheree um the plus size black woman on here on youtube and man I, I promise you her name is sheree but she had blow dried her hair and i seen her video and sis had to cut off like freaking five or six inches or something like that like maybe i'm being dramatic on how much she had to cut off but i was like i know i haven't trimmed my hair or did anything to it and i know i've been like really struggling with my hair and i was like i know that i need to check on the length of my hair to see like how much of it do i actually need to cut off and should i just cut it off instead of trying to wait like almost near november again before i actually do like a cut or a trim or something like that so her video actually really inspired me to blow dry my hair out and assess my hair because you guys know I cut my hair in braids most of the time and my braids are wet and I normally cut my hair right before I blow dry my hair like I clip off the ends of my hair but this time um, because I have reached out to the split ender company and got a split ender I wanted the length of my hair to be completely trimmed and cut and I wanted to see if that tool actually worked on black people's hair and not just white people's hair um so that's what i noticed now that i am trying to revert my hair from trimming my hair i do feel like my hair is so much softer and the reason why i'm wetting my hair like this is because i'm gonna sit under this electric dryer or this electric heat cap um, I showed you guys this. So, yeah, she's actually the one that made me, like, think about remotely putting heat on my hair just to see the damage to my hair. And at first, I wasn't going to put heat on my hair like that, but I really wanted to just see what my hair looked like. And honestly, you guys, I am going to have to eventually just slowly cut my hair just because of the thickness that's growing from my scalp already. When I had tried to do the split ender, if you guys haven't seen that video already, hopefully I remember to leave these videos down below. But when I did that, when I did the split ender, I could tell that the roots of my hair was so much more thicker, but it still wasn't as thick as my hair normally was. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna just take a very long time for that part to probably come back in or fill all the way back in but just a quick update is like my hair is doing really really well i am super pleased with how much hair i don't have to cut off but it was really good to check in with my hair and just to see because when i seen she had to cut off that much hair like it really made me freak out like honestly like i went through a whole nother freak out because i was just like dang sis be really taking care of her hair super super well and if she has that much hair that she has to get cut off i was like i can only imagine it. i mean she hasn't said anything about covid hair loss or whatever but everybody's on their own different journey but that is one of the main reasons why i actually um blow dry my hair this time i blow dry my hair and it was so much faster like normally it takes me about a good hour two hours to blow dry my hair and it literally only took me 25 minutes to blow dry my hair um and that that never happens the second thing that i've noticed about my hair well i don't even know if it's the second thing but the next thing i've noticed about my hair is it absorbs product differently and i noticed that the color of my hair looks like more of a reddish tint like at first my hair was like more strictly just black and now my hair looks more of a reddish 
brownish tint to it and i'm not sure if that's from covid i'm not sure why the why my hair is appearing more brown and not black i don't know if it's age but y'all know i like to come on here and just be a hundred percent honest with y'all uh, like a hundred percent transparent with how my hair is feeling what my hair is going through i noticed that my diys um what my hair is really really liking right now is these old school deep conditioning products and then is store-bought products i'm still using my diys like the diys that my hair apps absolutely love is my deep conditioner ball my diy oil my shampoo bar my conditioner bar but when it comes to just putting whipped shea butter on my hair it's like that's not moisturizing my hair um for it to be in the style like that's not moisturizing my hair good enough I noticed that my hair is starting to act a little differently when I do a mayo treatment. A mayo egg treatment is like my hair isn't responding the way that it used to um, when I would do just the egg or mayo, egg, excuse me, egg mayo treatment. Like my hair is responding completely differently. So that's what really made me go to the store and see if I can get like a store brought protein treatment. It's like my hair is soft, but it's not as soft as it normally would be. And I don't know if that's because of like the COVID situation. Like, I don't know, but a lot of the moisturizers that I use with the mayo and the eggs and stuff, it's like my hair is needing a little bit more and yeah but when it comes to like my DIY like the slippery elm and stuff like that those and the tea rinses I have to keep up on those at least once a month because I notice that my hair will start shedding again which is another big update is like now I have to do one of those tea rinses um slippery elm flaxseed situations for my hair because if i don't it's like this isn't a lot of hair like y'all can see that that's not that bad of shedding but i did skip one month without doing a tea rinse and now i'm only doing a tea rinse like maybe once a month or if it's not a tea rinse i'm doing some type of like i said flaxseed gel or one of my mixtures that i know that will help with my shedding so those diys really help store-bought shedding products i've tried it and i don't feel like it worked for me necessarily um not putting any particular brands or anything out there but just store-bought shedding products i don't feel like really help my hair any is really really been the tea rinses so yeah guys um that's what i've noticed with my hair those is the changes um i feel like i should probably blow dry my hair once every three months now just to check on the ends and the length of my hair but i almost don't want to do it that often but see it's like i'm not opposed to using heat on my natural hair anymore like i'm not like a natural that's like oh my gosh no heat because now i have to use heat to moisturize my hair or to deep condition my hair at first when i first started my natural hair journey i was a no heat natural but now i have to use some type of heat to help my hair like suck up this moisture so those are the things that i noticed about my hair since i blow dried it um some of the changes that i noticed about my hair since my covid hair loss or whatever so yeah guys like i'm gonna keep coming in here even if these videos are kind of boring or they seem repetitive like i want to give you updates 
on my hair but one thing i do want to say is my hair is still growing like the length of it is still growing i actually need to do a length update for you guys but i gotta find that shirt that i made and i don't know where i put it at but when i'm doing my hair or when i'm pulling it i can tell that my hair is still growing longer in spite of the damage of it it's still growing longer so that means that my scalp like is not damaged like my hair growth cycle hasn't stopped like it's just not in the same length that it was so you guys i'm not gonna keep you on this one too long i have another video to make for you guys so yeah if you like this video or have any more questions about my hair loss from covid or any questions period or any video requests please leave them down below and thank you guys so much for watching bye